All right, guys. Well, tomorrow uh, you're gonna see the first video of a shutdown and how I shut down a riser. And um, one of these is leaking in the wall. These are Gerber uh, shower stem valves. You know, you always see these in the shower, the three-handle valve. But in this building, they also use these as the branch valves in the bathroom. These are under the sink. And um, for the hot and cold, and if you shut one off, it shuts water off for the whole bathroom, the, the sink, toilet, and tub. So one of them is leaking because uh, I had, oh, excuse me, I had to change out one of these last week in an apartment. The diverter one, actually, for the um, to go from tub to shower. And I had to put the one under the sink off, you know, shut water off to the bathroom so I could change it out. And then it was leaking. And I tried to tighten the packing nut. I couldn't tighten the packing nut. And um, when that happens, you just got to change it out. These are only, uh, these are t a little expensive. They're $25 a pop. Um, but I have the new one right here. And it's just a very simple valve. You know, it's just a... A washer and you know you turn it in and it goes up against the seat and you know it shuts I, I did a video on um on those doing that so you will see that um, I'll show you how I shut down the riser how I drain and this is gonna be like a 30 minute job but I sent an email out about a water shutdown in the G line for two hours just to play it safe in case I run into any problem but I shouldn't knock on wood and uh, yeah so uh, today is Tuesday and then um excuse me today's Monday <laughs> Uh, next clip will be Tuesday. All right, Mike. All right, there's our hot water riser. I'm gonna shut down right now. There's a turn right next to it. We're gonna bleed at the, break the vacuum at the top and drain at the bottom. Drain here and then we uh, break the vacuum upstairs on 12. I'm going to break the vacuum here. back down the five and make sure it's drained and we'll keep these open to bleed off the air at the top of the line okay so we're open here we're drained already that was quick for the hot water riser um that's the guy that's leaking that needs to come out and there's a new one right there so i'm gonna get to it right now i need two definitely need two hands for this wow i got so lucky on that i really thought i was gonna have to use the wrench i was able to crack it with the channel lock now i'm just gonna try and get it by hand oh man this is my lucky day wow is this my lucky day beautiful beautiful that just came right out this is gonna be really quick uh okay uh where'd that where'd that washer go does this have the old one on it yeah it does and now this one probably fell off in the bag i gotta find that and just put a little teflon on here can never be too careful in, a, in an apartment building. Last thing you want is a leak in it to fall on your hands. So, okay, new valve is in. And, uh, what we'll do is we'll he's on right now, so we'll turn him off. Just just because for precaution. And then uh, I'm gonna fill up the system now. Everything's open at the top, so it'll bleed out the air. And. Uh, Let's see what happens. Is the old guy right there? All right, let's put him back on. Slowly crack him. So a heating hot water line right there. Uh huh. Alright, 
Let's let them fill up a bit. We'll go check it upstairs. All right, hot water's back. No drips. See anything coming from underneath? It's a main concern. Packing is okay now. All right, I think we're all right. I think we are okay here now. So I'm gonna put this back on. is replaced. No drips. Job done. Nice and hot. Bleeding out the air right now. This is on the return hot water line. So what you do is you turn off the circulator pump shut the outlet valve and then open this one so this is all the hot water returning so any air will bleed out through here we got to let it go for at least 30 minutes oh there you go there's definitely more where that came from be staying in here for a while another one for the scrap bucket